Recently in Philadelphia, cases of murder and gun violence are becoming rampant in that area. An assassin for some of the reported murders had been apprehended and guess what? He's a teenager. Now it's not clear if he's being ordered by some people or he's doing it on his own. This boy has been going about killing people, he just walks up to them and murders them. And from what I've been able to get so far, he doesn't just shoot someone once or twice and walks away, he empties the clip into one body. I mean, he stays on a body and continues to shoot till he gets tired or till his bullets get exhausted. And now he's being charged with four separate murders. At the age of 16, he's been involved in four different murder cases over several months. Are these people linked to one another? Is there a motive behind these killings? Or does he just go about killing randomly? We'll discuss that later after we discuss the killings he was arrested for. Before we start the video, make sure to leave a like. And if you would like to join this month's giveaway of one of these items on the screen, then all you have to do is subscribe to the channel and watch this video to the end to comment the hidden keyword. Good luck. One happened on Christmas Eve of 2020. It was reported to the Philadelphia police that there was a person on the 1800 block of Wynwood Road who was with a gun. When the police got to the scene, they found Dai Wu Naishan Scruggs, known as Wook's Biddy, on the ground suffering from multiple gunshot wounds to the torso. The police tried to save him by taking him to the hospital, but unfortunately, he later died that day. It was after an investigation that the police found out that the victim was an aspiring comedian who was filming a social media post when he was murdered. According to CCTV footage, Wook's Biddy was seen walking on his own with the perpetrator coming behind him. Wook's Biddy ran at one point and the assassin also did the same as if to catch up with him. Later, the perpetrator, named Amin Hurst, caught up with him while Wook's Biddy was still filming live on Instagram, saying, we are on live. His voice was still heard before the sounds of gunshots were heard. After the police found him, it was reported that Wook's Biddy was shot about 15 times. According to CCTV footage released by the police, after Hurst shot Wook's Biddy, he turned back and fled the scene. Hurst turning back to flee the scene made it seem like Wook Speedy was targeted to that scene. He turned and fled like mission accomplished. It's not known if something had transpired between the two before Wook Speedy's death. Probably they met at a place and he offended Hurst or something. All we know is he followed Wook Speedy to his destination and emptied his clips on him before he fled the scene. The murderer, I mean Hurst, has possibly killed more people than was recorded. What if we just didn't find out about the others? Because his case didn't end there and then, he did another one on the 11th of March. That day, the police responded to a shooting on the 1400 block of North 76th Street. But before they arrived at the scene, four shot victims were already taken by private vehicles to a local hospital. Each of them was brutally shot, resulting in two dead and leaving the remaining two in critical condition, which they eventually survived. It's alleged that social media helped the police to link Hearst to that murder case. The victims of the unfortunate incident were Nagoon Smith, who was shot in the chest, arm and shoulder and was pronounced dead at about 3.12 p.m. Tamir Brown, who had also been shot several times and was pronounced dead at 7.48 p.m. The two other shooting victims' names were not revealed, but both of them were 19 years of age when they were shot. There's not much news on this case, so we can't say if there was a fight between Hearst and a group, if he just shot them randomly, or if the four of them knew one another. He didn't stop still. He murdered someone else on the 18th of March. The victim, Rodney Hargrove, was just released from the current Fromhold Correctional Facility. Not long after his release, while he was waiting for his family for transportation, he was said to have waited about 45 minutes before he had to run back to the grounds of the jail facility with a car chasing him. According to reports, he was shot several times and killed feet from the raised gate of the complex. What the police believe is that Hargrove was a victim of that incident, that it was a case of mistaken identity. Maybe it was Hargrove's dark past that scared him when he saw someone with a gun that he started running before he was chased and murdered. Or who knows, maybe he didn't do anything to be a target of murder for the police to believe it was a case of mistaken identity. But come to think of it, the report says no guard was present at the time of the shooting. But the facility gate was raised while Hargrove was running towards it, allowing the car that would have been stopped if the gate wasn't raised to follow Hargrove into the facility. And to think that the one who shot him knew the time he was getting out. He just asked why and how. Well, I don't know as well, but an internal security probe is trying to figure that out. That made it seem like a mean Hearst is a hitman, like a paid assassin or something. Them thoughts been running through my mind and I just made them known to you. Let me also know your thoughts about this case. 
kindly drop your thoughts in the comments section. According to court records, Amin Hurst faces a whopping 32 separate counts which include carrying firearms without a license, possession of a firearm by a minor, murder recklessly endangering another person, possession of an instrument of a crime with intent, tampering or fabricating physical evidence and so on in separate cases. Man, that's much too much trouble for a teenager if you ask me. In some cases, you can't treat a teen as one, such as the case of hers. He's been in custody since March 20th and is being charged in as an adult. I mean, kind of think of it, if it wasn't mentioned in the news or reports that a teenager did all of this, it wouldn't come to your mind that a teenager did it. The reason behind his actions is still unknown. We don't know if he has a psychological problem, if he's being ordered by some older people to do his dirt, or training himself to become the best assassin, but if you think about it, you'd probably agree that some things must have influenced these kind of acts. Probably he rose with some bad gangs or groups, maybe he's into drugs or something. Anything might have possibly caused that, or maybe he's a child who is beyond parental control and has been deserted for a while because even his attorney, attorney Lee Mandel, who is listed as his attorney in various court records, said he had no comment when he was reached by WCAU. Is his attorney tired of defending him, or he just thinks there's nothing to say about this case? While there are possibilities that Hearst did all of that he's accused of, there are also possibilities that he didn't do some of it. There was a case of a teenager in the 80s who served 25 years for crimes he didn't commit. As at the time, he could not read or write, so it's understandable how a lot of lies were fabricated against him. Although he was a really tough guy who did crazy kinds of stuff, the crimes that he served for were the ones he didn't commit. Now, a lot of things must have happened which are unknown here, but the truth remains that Amin Hurst committed some of the crimes for real. If not anyone, then there was the one he committed and was caught on camera. For the others, we couldn't get any footage released to support those stories. But if he did it at least once, there's every tendency that he could do it again and again. That's what I think, you know? Tell me what you think about these crimes he's being arrested for, what you think about the crimes he committed, what do you think about the motive behind these killings could be? Do you think Amin Hurst is really an assassin? Let me know everything you think in the comments section. Let's discuss like we used to do. If you enjoyed the video, please hit the like and also share it with others to watch. If you haven't subscribed to this channel, now's the time to do that. Also, hit the notification button to get notified of more amazing content from this channel. You can't afford to miss them. See you in the next video. We out. Hey you. Yeah you. You like the video? Great. We got another one for you that we guarantee you'll like. And all you have to do is click on the screen. It's free and without any hidden fees. But you have to click on fast because this message will self-destruct in 5 seconds.